Hi, hello everyone. My name is Nipun Chandra. I got uh, fourth rank in AIMS, first rank in JIPMER, 55th rank in NEET, and I am a KVPY scholar. So KVPY is an entrance exam conducted by government of India for taking admission into uh, institutes which are concerned with uh, basic sciences and research uh, like ISERS, NISERS, and IISC. Any student can appear for KVPY in class 11, class 12, and also after passing class 12. So in class 11 it is called the essay code, in class 12 it is the SX code and in class for class 12 student, class 12 past students it's SX code. For essay code you have like uh, maths, physics, chemistry and biology. In uh, all these subjects you have uh, 15 questions in part A and 10 questions in part B. The questions in part A carry one mark and uh, in questions of uh, part B carry two marks each. Uh, you have negative mar marking of 1 by 4 in part A and uh, half po uh, 0.5 in part B. Part A uh, have mostly standard questions and part B have uh, higher, higher level questions. In class 12, whereas in the SX code or in the SB code, you need to attempt only uh, three of these four subjects, that is either uh, uh, any three of these subjects, that is physics, chemistry, biology or physics, chemistry, mathematics. If you are appearing for KVPY in class 11, then uh, it is it would be uh, beneficial for you if you also go through some of the concepts that are that are that are there in class 12 for example those regarding current and optics in physics if you have very solid conceptual base that you are if you are clear with all your subjects whatever you read in class 10 uh, then you would be able to clear kpo in class 11 uh, coming to class 12 the questions uh, the syllabus is uh, larger and then you need to you know prepare uh, whole of class 12 and class 11 to appear for KVPY in class 12. Although the questions are comparatively easier compared to other entrance examinations. The KVPY exams also have the same syllabus as that of you know physics, chemistry, biology in class 12. Uh, so yeah, the syllabus is same and all you need to do is you know uh, practice questions, keep your concepts clear and you know also practice previous year questions. Yeah, I don't think it requires any other additional preparation. After clearing the KPO exam, you are eligible for admission in various institutes that are involved in basic research, basic sciences and research. So if you're interested in those, then you can get into it. And well, if you clear the KPO exam, then well, uh, in, in your uh, course of preparation for the exam, uh, you would also be at the same time preparing for your uh, medical or medical entrance exam as, as the syllabus are the same. And uh, clearing, an, uh, clearing an entrance exam gives you a confidence that yes, you would be able to achieve even more. For more queries regarding KVPY, please comment below. And uh, for more information, keep on watching Delhi Knowledge Track. Thank you.